Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habata fillah It's imperative that we begin to take care of our own affairs and clean up and begin to begin with community development that it is absolutely necessary for us to begin to take care of our community needs and build a solid foundation yes we need islamic schools we need to provide islamic environments but one thing we're definitely in need of that we don't have and that we don't often hear spoken about is the need for islamic support systems and what i mean is i'm talking about in the case uh in the scenarios or I'm talking about in the west i'm talking about in america in the uk and i'm talking about canada and i'm talking in in europe in general and i'm also talking about the struggles that you find predominantly amongst reverts because more often than not you find from our brothers and sisters that have migrated to those countries that and were born muslim that they uh generally they have support systems not always but they generally have support systems they have families they have communities they have uh national groups i guess you will say for example if someone is somali the somalis are very uh they have very strong support networks and i am very familiar with those networks where sometimes a phone call can make and, and thousands of dollars can be raised likewise our brothers and sisters from pakistan especially those wealthier communities i've seen them fundraise after jumwa thousands and thousands of dollars where they wanted each donor to pledge at least uh i think if i recall <laughs> several thousand dollars like who's going to give no 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 we want to start with $10,000 who's going to do this because we need to build this and we need to do this so these are great achievements for those who are included in that however when we realize that we are a muslim community and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a muslim akhu muslim yushaddu ba'dahu ba'da that the muslim is a brother to the muslim believer and they strengthen one another that it's not sufficient that we only look out for our racial group or our uh identity that you know that we're pakistani or that we're indian or that we are uh uh bengali or that we're somali or we're only a particular tribe from somali or that we're oromo or we're or tigray tigray or we are amharic that's not sufficient especially when you're living in the west that you are in a muslim community which is comprised of many different believers and those believers sometimes need help they need help from their brothers and sisters so this is known to us who don't have that family support don't have that tribal support and what i'm saying and proposing is we need to begin to take these affairs in our own hands and we also have to realize that unfortunately some of the people are not going to help you some of the people have no concern for that they are weak in their iman some of the people and suspicious and cautious they're quick to raise money for kashmir which we make dua for our brothers and sisters in kashmir and they're quick to make money uh raise money for uh you know some travesty in bangladesh and they're quick to m- raise money for some issue that's going on in hiragesa and they're quick to raise money to some struggle that's going on the eagers igors in uh china and those are all of our muslim brothers and they all need our assistance but unfortunately we've forgotten our own home as well that we have brothers and sisters that are homeless we have brothers and sisters who live in their cars we have sisters with children sometimes who are homeless or one paycheck or not even they're on the door of being evicted without any options divorce divorcees and so on and so forth we have sisters who have been abused 
and, and every which way and they need help and assistance. So we need to begin to see this, recognize this, take the steps and start building so that way we can provide those services, so that way we can support, support one another, so that way we can come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by strengthening the bond of community and strengthening one another. This is imperative. This will strengthen the love of the hearts of the believers, but it will also give us the honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us as Muslims because we shouldn't have, sisters should not be in real uh, scenarios that has been related to us where sisters, were, uh, particular sisters were living in cars, contemplating selling themselves in order to uh, provide for themselves because they ran out of options. Having to go to the churches, having to go to people who, you know, all, all kind of uh, non-Muslim organization and mushrik more organizations as well in order to gain help and this is where they got help where's the muslim community where the where's care or where is the care and where's the concern for our brothers and sisters who are in struggle who are in need so we have to begin to community build build our community and i know this is just sounds like rhetoric but I hope by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's permission that we're able to begin to put some of these things in practice. And that's why I say that we support those indigenous organizations that are doing those kind of activities, that are beginning to community build, are beginning to provide support services for our brothers and sisters to help them with their mental, spiritual, and physical financial needs. And that are striving to do that. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah bless us all with ikhlas, with abad, and help us to help ourselves, help us to begin to ta'awana ala bitter wa taqwa, to cooperate in righteousness and piety. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.